is one skeleton print five inch white round or you can use a regular white round and draw your face in and we need two white 260s. Okay, let's get started. Inflate your white 260s with a seven finger tail. Do that with both of them. Let a nice puff of air out before you tie it. And inflate your skeleton head um, about three-fourths of the way. Okay, let's start on one of your 260s with a cherry tomato size bubble. Hold it here and let's pinch twist it. Twist it around and pull the knot up, pull it tight and turn it. Make a little loop that would fit around about one finger and turn that. This is one of your little skeleton's feet. Take the other 260 and do the same exact thing that you just did. Cherry tomatoes, five pinch twist and a little loop it around about one finger. Now go up about four fingers and make a twist and then make two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. You're just going to pull it up and turn it and then wrap it around. And then make a three finger bubble and a cherry tomato sized bubble and pinch twist it. Do the same exact thing on the other leg. Four fingers and two cherry tomato sized bubbles. Fold it over, pull it up and pinch twist it. Do the same thing, a cherry tomato sized bubble, pull it around and turn it and wrap this up. So you have the kneecap. Then a three finger bubble, a cherry tomato size bubble, and pinch twist it. So you have the two feet. And now make a tiny one finger bubble. Cherry, a little cherry tomato size bubble. And wrap it around this pinch twist on the other leg. And take the one that has the longer tail and make another tiny one finger bubble or little cherry tom tomato round bubble. And twist it off and then, and then turn it in to this other hip, hip bone. <laughs> so you have this. Now we're going to make the body. And these are four finger bubbles. So two four finger bubbles and turn them together. Just lay your hand right up above these hip bones and then turn it together at the top of your finger. Make two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them for the neck. Now you can leave it like that, but I'm gonna take this whole body bubble right here at the hips and just turn it in a circle. So you have this. And now make a little three finger bubble and then a pinch twist, a cherry tomato size pinch twist coming out from the neck. Make another cherry tomato size pinch twist and another three finger bubble and then a cherry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. Do the same thing on the other hand or arm. 
three finger bubble and two cherry tomato sized bubbles and pinch twist them. These have um, a lot of pinch twist. There's a lot of pinch twist in this skeleton design because these are where his little bones, like the ends of his bones connect. So once you do that, you have these two long things sticking up. And you can loop them around, but I have a little bit too much air in these, so I'm gonna squeeze all the air out of the very end and just nip it a little bit with the scissors. And leave it down a little until there's a knot and about a three finger bubble and tie it. I might have been able to get this whole skeleton design in if I tried maybe an eight finger tail. But maybe I just was squeezing too hard. It worked the first time, but it didn't work this time. All right, so we have this one. And then do the same thing. Squeeze all the air out and nip the very tip of it. And then go down till you have about a three finger bubble and tie it. And then wrap it around. Wrap it around with pinch twist. And then take your little skeleton head and pull it tight into the neck and just wrap it around. You don't have to tie it. And then I'm just going to put it at the back of the head. So you have this. And he can be done now, but I like to add bones. If nothing else, at least add the rib cage. Where you can put three or four little like long C things and then do it on the other side too. So you have this. I'm gonna add one more. And then I'm gonna add little hip bones like that. And then you can just draw bones on the longer bubbles of his arms and legs. Just two bumps and like a long thing in the middle. And I'll do his arms too. I think it just gives him a nice um, effect. Makes them look pretty uh, cool. And here is your little skeleton. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy twisting!